impressions of next year's quarterback class in case Drew Locke or the veteran option just doesn't pan out. I love your guys' content. Keep up the great work, guys. Appreciate you, Andy. Thank you so much for your support. I know uh, it means the world to us, man. Thank you for rocking with us. And also, it looks like you are, I can't tell there, but it looks like you're in some military uh, outfit there. So appreciate your service as well, if Thank that's you. the case. Um, Luke, I'll take this one since I... Already starting to work a little bit on the 2022 class. You're crazy, uh, man. You're crazy, dude. I'm losing sleep over here over this class, and you are already pouring into the it's next through one. through the peripherals, like working on the North right. Carolina running back so you can see Sam Howell, what's going on. Sure. Working on James Hudson at left tackle. You can see what's going on with Desmond Ritter. I watched Carson Strong earlier this year because I thought he would declare, given the lack of depth in this quarterback class. Um, I think the biggest thing right now I can say about the 2021 versus 2022 class is the 2021 class, ex- insanely top-heavy. You got four guys that I think are top 10, top 15 picks in any class, the level of tools they have. And make no mistake, obviously there is a part of mental processing and uh, skills that take you to that next level for the quarterback position. But to get a foot in the door, you have to bring something athletic to the table, some sort of tools. So that whether that be arm talent or athleticism, especially in today's game. And I'll be honest, I don't see any quarterback in next year's class that compares the combination of arm talent and athleticism that we see right now with Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, and uh, Zach Wilson. That being said, the one that I think you could make an argument for is uh, Ritter, not, uh, gosh, Rattler, excuse me, Spencer Rattler at Oklahoma. Um, He's a guy who... He just kind of plays the, the quarterback position like a shortstop, you know, turning a double play. He can make some of those awkward at platform throws and the ball pops out of his hand. And that's what you need more and more from the quarterback position in today's game. Uh, but that being said, there are a heaping of concerns about his personality and attitude um, dating back to high school. Uh, so that's going to be a concern. And you think it's, you know, people probably already be like, oh, you know, talking about Spencer Rattler, rolling your eyes about the character concerns. Like it's going to be worse next year. It's, it's not going to go away. Um, I know there's some hype for Sam Howell. I'll be honest, I don't see this top 10 any quarterback class kind of hype. I mean, people look at the stats, but it looks it's a very like shoot and go offense, throwing a lot of nine routes down the field. He has some athleticism, but the arm does not pop. Uh, I think he's just kind of a he's a solid quarterback prospect. We'll go first round. I'd have him over a guy like Mac Jones in this class, but mm-hmm. it's just it's just not an ample tools guy. Um, I do like Carson Strong from Nevada, but he looks like a pure pocket guy. And I, I'll tell you, I'm out on pure pocket quarterbacks. You got to bring something athletic to the table in today's game. I, I like Desmond Ritter. Um, he reminds me of Teddy Bridgewater. Like the arm is just kind of not very good, a little bit inaccurate as well. He can take a step because he's can do some stuff outside the X's and O's, um, but or beyond the X's and O's. But I, you know, if I could take Carson Strong and Desmond Ritter and have them like fusion dance into one quarterback, we're talking, baby. But that's just not the case. Um, my guy that I'm really high on myself, uh, kind of a sleeper, um, but and somebody that John Elway never would have drafted, but Malik Willis from Auburn. Now okay. he's six one, two hundred fifteen pounds, guy, and he's inaccurate but the flashes oh baby lamar jackson light i mean like a video Mm. game player out there uh he's got great wheels uh the arm pops very easily not consistent with the process not always consistent with accuracy but i I always think when it comes to the quarterback uh position especially evaluating the draft and what we've learned josh allen carly murray justin herbert those guys hitting the last few years foot in the door is the tools and i think malik willis has the tools so overall it's, it's a deep class but if you like one of the top four this year, I think you should swing because I don't think the top stacks up the same. 